Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Alexis, and today is November 13th, World Kindness Day. And I'm Jake, reporting from Room 218. Welcome to your World News Wednesday. In world news, President Evo Morales of Bolivia, who came to power over a decade ago, has resigned on Sunday after protests against his rule. The protests claim that President Morales was undermining democracy. In a statement, the president and vice president said that they stepped down to stop the bloodshed that had spread across the country in previous weeks. They said they had done nothing wrong and were victims of a coup. Other officials called the president's step down the end of tyranny. A Bolivian senator has declared himself the interim president. We'll update you in the following weeks. Some states have off-year elections, which take place in the years when there aren't midterm or presidential elections. Last week, five states headed to the polls. Louisiana, New Jersey, Kentucky, Virginia, and Mississippi. In Virginia, Democrats took full control of the state's legislature for the first time in over 20 years. Although only a few states participated in these elections, people na nationwide were watching to see whether Democrats were capable of winning seats in states President Trump won in 2016. Last week, AT&T agreed to cough up $60 million over its fake unlimited data plans. Here's some background. AT&T offers an unlimited data plan, but after a certain point, it slows down your service to a fraction of what it was before. Now it looks like AT&T is finally setting, settling with the Federal Trade Commission. A man in Massachusetts recently received a letter which turned out to be a reply to a message he left in a bottle and threw in the ocean some nine years ago. Max Vredenborough, who was 10 years old when he wrote the letter, describes it as his 10-year-old dream come true. Inside the letter, he describes his 10-year-old self, stating that he likes apples, the beach, cars, animals, outer space, and that his favorite color is blue. The bottle traveled more than 5,000 kilometers from the beach of Rockport, Massachusetts, to the beach of Contis, France. Vredenborough says he hopes to learn more about his newfound pen pal. Wildcats, please come out to Blaze Pizza tonight from 5 to 8 p.m. to support your National Honor Society. Everyone is welcome. The week before Transgender Day of Remembrance, on November 20th, those around the country participate in Transgender Awareness Week to help raise awareness for the visibility of transgender people and address issues the community faces. This is a week when transgender people and their allies take action to bring attention to the community by educating the public about who gender, transgender people are, sharing stories and experiences, and advancing advocacy around the issues of prejudice, discrimination, and violence that affect the transgender community. Support your trans friends and respect their pronouns and be wary of outing anyone. Junior class shirts are now on sale. Place your order on school pay for just $15. Supplies are limited and shirts are going fast. The senior class, along with the Salvation Army, is sponsoring the Angel Tree Project again. This is a great cause where you can sponsor a young boy or girl or a senior citizen and purchase new clothing and a toy for them just in time for the holidays. Please stop by room 360 to pick up an angel. We also have stockings to fill. Stockings should be stuffed with new gifts for a girl, boy, senior woman, or senior man. All items need to be brought to room 360 by no December 3rd. Congratulations to Kinzer Hurt, who got first place, and Stephanie Huntum, who got best of show in the Maitland Art Festival. If you see them in the hall, please make sure to congratulate them. Now for club news. Join the Arnold Palmer Club in room 807 tomorrow before and after school to discuss upcoming events. See you there. There is a Helping Children Everywhere meeting today after school in room 335. Hope you can make it. In sports news, please congratulate your Werner Park High School Quiz Bowl team as they defeated Cypress Creek yesterday and finished the season in first place. They really did make Werner Park proud this year. Please wish them well as they head to county playoffs next Monday at the First Academy. Come out to the girls' JV soccer game tonight at 6 p.m. at Freedom, followed by the girls' varsity team at 730. Also, come out to the girls' varsity basketball preseason game tonight at Windermere High School at 6 p.m. Winter guard tryouts will take place on Wednesday, November 20th from 1.45 to 5 p.m. Anyone in grades 9 through 12 is welcome to try out and be part of this competitive team. No experience is necessary. That is all the news we have for you today, Wildcats. Have a wonderful Wednesday, and remember to spread some kindness today. Now stay tuned for this segment. Ferocious wildfires are burning at emergency level intensity across Australia. New South Wales is under a week-long state of emergency and a catastrophic fire warning is in place for Sydney, Australia's largest city. The worst of the fires emerged in the northeast where three people have died and more than 150 homes have been destroyed since Friday. 
The ravaging fires have reignited the debate on whether Australia has taken enough action on climate change.